Welcome to the world of hip hop's royal couple, Beyonce and Jay Z. Beyonce is a mega star, fabulous superstar diva. <laughs> Jay-Z has his hand in nearly every major business industry there is. <laughs> Where tricked out rides are at the ready 24-7, 365. It's the Rolls Royce of helicopters. And the bling is blinding. Think about dipping a nail ring into diamonds and pulling it out. It was a vision and now here it is. We're taking you inside Bay Z's glitzed up, pimped out universe. I'm lucky. I'm a lucky person. Where an entourage is at your beck and call. When he falls, I definitely gotta drop my clippers and meet him wherever he's at. Bar tabs are outrageous. The table price has pretty much turned into a bidding war. And even the littlest member of the family is ready to run the world. Yeah, I'm trying to put that together. One thing's for sure, J and B ain't living the hard knock life. They're both totally mega. When you put them together, one and one equals a billion. <laughs> get ready, cause it's gonna get loud. This is the fabulous life of Beyonce and Jay Z. Turn the lights Jay-Z and Beyonce are two of the biggest artists in the world right now. So together they make up the ultimate power couple. I mean, I think of Jay-Z and Beyonce as a force of nature. They jet set, they're rich, they're attractive, they have an amazing lifestyle. They have it all. The thing that's great about Jay-Z and Beyonce is they don't do anything small. Everything is big, huge, and it's a statement. You can't get much bigger than Beyonce's engagement ring. It's an 18-carat flawless diamond set in platinum created by celebrity jeweler Lorraine Schwartz. The sparkler cost Jay over $5 million. When Jay-Z is looking for an engagement ring, he's not going to the jewelry store in the mall. This is a ring fit for a queen, and at $5 million, it is one of the most expensive in the entire world. Now that's how you put a ring on it. On April 4, 2008, the power couple tied the knot at Jay-Z's Tribeca New York penthouse. The day Jay-Z and Beyonce finally got married in New York, everyone was buzzing about it. Photographers were everywhere. Reporters were camped out on the rooftops. People from Kanye West to Diddy to Gwyneth Paltrow were all in attendance. About 40 people maximum. DJ Cassidy, the all-star DJ, he was playing at their wedding. But the beats were just the beginning. Hi, I'm Amy Wong Bitarga from Amy's Orchid. We do the flower for Beyonce and JC wedding. Beyonce wanted over 1,000 feet of white dendrobium orchid garland to transform the couple's Tribeca home for their nuptials. So she called Amy to make it happen. We got the order on Monday night, and we have uh, one day to produce the product. They said, you got to get this order as fast as you can do Monday night. I said, big order. Minimum have to be one month. That would be perfect. But Beyonce, just one day. They not even ask the price. No limit. When the client want a perfect job, I will spend all night long to do it. Amy's army of over 100 orchid farmers in Thailand worked around the clock plucking thousands of pristine white flowers for the big event. In order to get 60, 70,000 room perfect, I need to cut more than 100,000 room to pick the best one to process and get the best one for Beyonce. Once all 100,000 perfect orchids were chosen and hand sewn into garlands, they were shipped over 8,000 miles to NYC. By Wednesday night, the flowers show in New York, and Thursday on the JC Mansion. 
I can't say the price is very secret. According to sources, the Queen's flowers could cost upwards of $170,000. But for Bay's big day, the floral perfection was nothing but priceless. Jay and B never have to drive themselves, let's face it. But why would that stop them from having an insane car collection? We think that a navigation system is pretty snazzy, but Beyonce is reportedly rolling around in a million dollar Mercedes van, complete with a full bathroom. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Beyonce's purported one million dollar Mercedes van doesn't just have a room to tinkle. Sources say it's decked out in cream colored Italian leather and has a $150,000 sound system so Bay can feel drunk in love. It was a vision and now here it is. Every once in a while, Beyonce has a need for speed and when those times come, she has a Mercedes McLaren SLR. This Mercedes sports car has a V8 engine that goes from 0 to 62 in 3.8 seconds. Price tag? Close to half a million bucks. Mrs. Carter does have a fabulous set of wheels, but when it comes to fancy cars, Jay-Z actually has one of the most envied car collections in the entire world. When it comes to sports cars, Jay's got rides to scratch every fast and furious itch. Sources say he's got a silver Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet worth $107,000. A Ferrari F430 that can cost $275,000. And a Pagani Zonda F purportedly worth $2.5 million. Jay has a car for every day of the week and then some. I'm lucky. I'm a lucky person. Jay-Z and Beyonce aren't the only ones in the Carter family with a crazy car collection. That's right, at just two years old, Blue Ivy already has more wheels than the average American household. We all know that Jay-Z has a $2 million Bugatti, but of course Princess Blue Ivy could not be left out. She's reportedly rolling around in her own mini Bugatti. She also has a mini Ferrari. What's next? The fleet of Range Rovers? Vroom, vroom, baby. Gold, check. Platinum, check. Diamonds? Yes, of course. When it comes to all that glitters, there's one mantra Bay-Z lives by. The bigger, the better. This is a couple who always looks amazing, from their hair to their outfits to their shoes. So naturally, they have some of the best jewelry to go with it. Like any self-respecting hip-hopper, Hova's got some big pimpin' bling. Take this $2,100 strand of blinged out rosary beads. Then there's this gold Cartier Panther ring, tricked out with onyx and peridot, worth an estimated $14,000. But the biggest and baddest piece in Jay-Z's stash of bling? It's this massive $250,000 solid gold necklace. Weighing in at a whopping 11 pounds, it's one of the heaviest gold link chains on earth. Now that's off the chain. Most guys love watches, but when it comes to Jay-Z, I mean, he's pretty much obsessed. He's not wearing the largest watch, but it's probably the most expensive. Jay's got 99 problems, but time ain't one. Want proof? How about Rolex's luxurious day-date timepiece in gold worth an estimated $30,000? And this Audemars Piguet purportedly worth $40,000? Then there's this Richard Millet Tourbillon that reportedly costs about half a million bucks. But King Hover doesn't hold the monopoly on bling in this relationship. Beyonce is a megastar. Part of being a megastar is you have to know how to dress for each occasion. From $2,000 worth of Jennifer Fisher jewelry for her XO video, to the $1.8 million emerald stunners at Obama's inauguration, this megastar proves time and time again that her bling is mega too. 
after performing at the Grammys, Beyonce did hit the red carpet. She was totally dripping in diamonds, and everybody's jaws dropped. From 50 carat diamond earrings to all six diamond rings, she was decked out in a staggering $10 million worth of Lorraine Schwartz jewels. I mean, Beyonce is always number one when it comes to trends. She's always super fashion forward. And when it came down to her nail rings in her Sweet Dreams video, she really started a huge fad in Hollywood. And the trend started here at Bejewels, where some of the most unique and edgy Beyonce bling is created. We are Bejewels, we're a fine jewelry concept driven brand. When I have someone who is a celebrity and they're looking for something truly unique and experiential, they come to me. And when Beyonce needed statement pieces for her 2009 Sweet Dreams video, Bejewels was her first stop. Beyonce in particular at that time really needed something that was going to pop. And what she wanted was an over-the-top nail ring. And so what we did was think about dipping a nail ring into diamonds and pulling it out. It's made of 14 karat yellow gold. And then we have about a carat and a half of tiny melee diamonds. And then we also use tiny little rubies for the eyes for the snake. Normally, a piece of jewelry for us, for Bejewels, takes six to eight weeks for a custom order, and with this one, we made it in four days. Beyonce's iced out snakes came with an extravagant price tag, a cool 36 grand. It's a very expensive uh, manicure. All hail the queen of bling. Turn the lights out. Coming up, we'll take you inside a birthing suite fit for royalty. It's like a five-star resort. And a private jet that gives the prayers a run for his money. I mean, that's kind of like baby Air Force One. And later, Basie's blueprint for global domination. Jay-Z has his hand in nearly every major business industry there is. All that and more on the fabulous life of Beyonce and Jay-Z. We don't have a royal couple in America, but if we did, it would be Beyonce and Jay-Z, and their daughter, Blue Ivy, is just America's princess. Her Royal Highness Blue Ivy graced the world with her presence on January 7th, 2012, and she landed right into the lap of luxury. So Blue Ivy actually came into this world in Manhattan at Lenox Hill Hospital. It was like a five-star resort. You can say that again, because the brand new executive birthing suite has walls covered in mahogany, four flat-screen TVs, a concierge, and gourmet room service. And you better believe this kind of treatment doesn't come cheap. The suite costs up to $1,700 a night. A small price to pay for the Queen Bay and her new baby. You know, obviously Beyonce was not going to share her birthing suite with another mom to be. And Jay-Z actually had his own bedroom in the suite. Normal dads usually sleep on a cot, but not Jay-Z. But this was just the beginning of Blue Ivy Carter's star treatment. At only two days old, Princess Blue had reportedly amassed $1.5 million in tricked out baby gear. We're talking a $15,000 Swarovski studded high chair, a $50,000 diamond encrusted pram, and even a solid gold rocking horse worth 600 grand. That's enough for a stable of actual thoroughbreds with plenty left over. Oh yeah, baby. Not only were Jay-Z and Beyonce excited when Blue Ivy came into the world, but their friends were too. And they lavished this child with gifts. Auntie Oprah got her a trunk of children's books. While Ruthie Davis, celebrity shoe designer, offered up custom-made baby blue sparkly sneaks worth $800. Destiny's child singer Kelly Rowland got blue a $5,200 baby bathtub covered in over 44,000 crystals that took over two months to apply. Nice job, Auntie Kelly.
And when it came to Blue's first birthday, Mummy and Daddy Carter pulled out all the stops. Her birthday party pretty much blows most one-year-old's birthday parties out of the water. If you think they just offered up some cake and goodie bags, think again. At Blue's princess party, there were reportedly $95,000 worth of pink and white roses and $30,000 worth of costumes, toys, and gifts for the lucky tots invited to the soiree. The grand total, $200,000. They spoiled her, and so she's got a good life. <laughs> she's a very good life. More like an uber fabulous life. Gifting between this couple is insane. They are, you know, one of the richest couples in the world, so they can also afford the best gifts in the world. <laughs> From birthdays to Christmas and everything in between, Mr. and Mrs. Carter spare no expense when it comes to lavishing gifts on one another. When Beyonce turned 25, Jay-Z reportedly pulled out a million dollars to buy her a 1959 Rolls Royce. And on Jay-Z's 41st birthday, Beyonce came back with something enormous. A Bugatti that's worth $2 million, one of the most expensive cars in the world. It's like hitting the lotto or something. More like hitting mega millions. Because the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport's top speed is 253 miles per hour and can travel a half mile in just 10 seconds. Buckle up, Hova. Leave it to Jay-Z to give Beyonce the ultimate push present. After she gave birth to Blue Ivy, Jay presented her with a beautiful $35,000 blue sapphire ring. But Beyonce paid it forward in a big way. After Blue Ivy was born, Beyonce reportedly got Jay his own sapphire ring, which was worth almost half a million dollars. And she didn't stop there. Beyonce made daddies all over the world even more jealous when she got Blue's old man his very own Bombardier Challenger 850 private jet for $40 million. It's got a living room, kitchen, and two bathrooms. I mean, that's kind of like baby Air Force One. When Christmas time rolls around, Beyonce and Jay-Z aren't looking for cheapy stocking stuffers. One Christmas, Jay-Z spent $350,000 on Beyonce and got her a ton of her favorite goodies, including her favorite Birkin bag. Jay-Z and Beyonce must be under so much pressure to figure out creative presents for each other because they pretty much have everything. Who says money can't buy love? Coming up... We'll show you a party where the champagne is worthy of its own chariot. So we had this pretty grand entrance. It was a sight to see. And later, when Bay-Z head to the Hamptons, they'll only travel in style. There's nothing you would want that don't have in this helicopter. When the fabulous life of Beyonce and Jay-Z returns. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce may work all the time, but they love having fun, too. Because what's the point of being the king and queen of hip-hop if you can't throw a royal bash? Everyone wants to make sure that when Jay-Z and Beyonce come into their establishment, they're getting the best of the best. In December 2013, Bay-Z took over the VIP area of Atlantis Club Reign to celebrate themselves. After Beyonce dropped her amazing surprise album, they celebrated with an all-out balls-to-the-wall party in Atlanta. They were also celebrating Jay's nine Grammy nominations. Jermaine Dupri, Bow Wow, everyone who's anyone in town flocked to the club just to surround them. So how much money did these two drop in Hotlanta? Nearly $100,000. But that's just chump change compared to Jay's bar bill from his Watch the Throne listening party at Miami's Club Live. You know, when you're talking about Jay-Z, you might as well be talking about Elvis Presley. The energy 
energy level was insane. People were coming down and into this club salivating just to just to get a glance of it. The table price has pretty much turned into a bidding war. VIP seats at Live can cost 50 grand. And even those high rollers got nothing on Jay's center stage prime real estate. That stage was on lockdown specifically for him. That stage usually fits about 100 people. It was only the people he wanted up there. And it was very specific. He had his own detail of security. So that place was like Fort Knox. As King Hova sat atop a bona fide throne, he was served up a 15-liter, $100,000 bottle of champagne. You know, that night, we knew we had to do something special. So we had this special order, Ace of Spades Chariot, which is a uh, pretty grand entrance. It was a sight to see. Sources say Jay's total booze tab that night was a quarter of a million dollars, beating out Mark Cuban's record of 110 grand. He definitely crushed anybody else's order in this building. In your face, Cuban. Jay's the and Beyonce and Trust up, and they do it really well because they have a lot of money. Givenchy, Roberto Cavalli, Tom Ford. Beyonce and Jay-Z are the ultimate style couple. Bring the beat back. Beyonce's style is multifaceted. She can be edgy, she can be uber glam, she can be anything you want. She is a major tour de force. In 2013, Beyonce hit up a VMA after party in a form fitting $1,500 Tom Ford LBD, $2,000 Brian Atwood pumps, along with a $1,700 clutch. When you hear Beyonce's name, you think fabulous superstar diva. Everyone loves her. She's Beyonce. I mean, what more could you want? And when the super diva is channeling her alter ego on stage, she always looks fierce. While performing at World Humanitarian Day in the summer of 2012, Beyonce donned a $2,300 gorgeous Alexander McQueen bell sleeve gown. But Jigger doesn't like being upstaged, even by his wife. It's like three-piece Tom Ford suits that are custom-made. Jay-Z's Tom Ford suits can cost anywhere from $4,000 and up. He really dresses like a mogul. Jay has another obsession that dates way back. Jay-Z loves shoes. Everyone knows he has a very impressive sneaker collection. Hova's got a serious passion for casual kicks like Air Jordans and Air Force Ones. But there's one pair that stands out. Jay's $2,500 Brooklyn Zoos covered in nine different animal skins. These shoes are made of some of the most exotic skins in the entire world, from elephant and stingray to crocodile and python. There's actually only 10 pairs of sneakers made in the world, and I mean, obviously the first one's going to go to Jay-Z. Obviously. Beyonce always looks amazing. Her skin is flawless. Her hair is, like, perfect. She's literally one of the most beautiful women in the world. Everything has to be the best for Beyonce, down to her eyelashes. I mean, the girl spends about $60 a pair for real mink fur eyelashes. That's right. This diva blinks mink. And if you think she reuses these luxury lashes, mink again. Each pair is one and done. If she used them every day, it would come to $21,000 a year just on eyelashes. And that's just the start of her amazing accessories. Beyonce always looks absolutely beautiful from head to toe, and it includes her gorgeous fingernails. The standard manicure costs like, what, 10 bucks? Well, for Beyonce, that is just not good enough. And when she was set to take the stage at the 2013 Super Bowl, Beyonce chose a Manny worth showing off to the world. Beyonce set the stage aflame, literally. <laughs> she insisted on gold metallic nail covers that look really great and they shine under the lights that cost upwards of $1,000. 
For that dough, the average woman can get her nails done every week for almost two years. I mean, wow. Hello. When you're married to one of the hottest women on the planet, the least you can do is stay up on your grooming. That's why Jay-Z has a personal barber standing by 24-7. Meet Johnny Cake. Sup, my name is Johnny Cake. I'm a celebrity barber. And if I ain't cut him, you ain't hot. Jay's all over the place, all over the world. And when he calls, I definitely got to drop my clippers here at the shop and pack up and meet him wherever he's at to get him right. Johnny's been keeping Hova's locks tight since 1998 when the two were introduced by mutual friend and Johnny Cake client, Damon Dash. When Jay wants a haircut, he, you know, he has the assistant obviously call me. Just they give me the time, I show up to his house. He's out of town. They send a car for me, car service, set up the flight, everything taken care of. And all I got to do is just show up and do what I do. Having a barber at your beck and call 365 comes with a huge price tag. Starting with international flights that can cost seven grand, plus $500 a night hotels, not to mention Johnny's undisclosed day rate, multiplied over two decades equals massive mounds of cash. Certain guys, you know, that have an image like Jay-Z, they gotta have their haircut looking nice, you know, they got cameras all over them, paparazzi, interviews, you know, so the haircut is a big part of the image. Sounds like you're worth every penny, Mr. Cake. Coming up, we'll show you the city of love's poshest penthouse. Not only is the privacy through the roof, but the luxury is as well. And find out how B and J avoid bumper to bumper traffic. This is like a flying living room. When the fabulous life of Beyonce and Jay Z continues. When you're Beyonce and Jay-Z and you want to get away for a long weekend, you are not on Hotels.com booking a last-minute room to Albuquerque, New Mexico. You are taking the most extravagant vacations that anybody could really dream of. In 2011, Jay-Z took a much-deserved vacay in the city of love, Paris, France. And the couple stayed at one of Bebe's faves, Hotel Le Maurice. The Hotel La Maurice is the place to stay if you're a celebrity in Paris. Not only is the privacy through the roof, but the luxury is as well. It's the pinnacle of French luxury. While in Paris, Mr. and Mrs. Carter prefer the penthouse. And at Hotel Le Maurice, that comes with a hefty price tag. We're talking 20 grand a night before room service. For Beyonce's 32nd birthday, they had a yacht where they could sun and eat and swim, and they took it from Spain to Italy. JC and Beyonce spent five days on a triple-decker yacht with a helipad, sauna, and pool. The floating mansion purportedly sent the couple back $350,000. Add the reported 30 grand for champagne and other libations, that's over $76,000 a night. Now that's how you kick back. I mean, nobody with money can actually just rent this yacht for a week. You actually have to know the guy that owns it. And if the king and queen of hip-hop want to remain stateside for some R&R, they head to the Hamptons, New York's summertime playground. B e and J are the hottest fixtures in the Hamptons, and all their friends are there as well. It's the hottest place to be every summer. When hip-hop's royal family arrived on Long Island's East End in August 2013, they were living large on an 11.5-acre estate with every luxury you can imagine. From a 60-foot swimming pool, a spa room, to a bowling alley, even an indoor basketball court. But perks like these don't come cheap. The Carters dropped 400 grand for the month. But when you're Bay-Z, who's counting? And to get there, the Carters don't sit in traffic on the LIE like a couple of schmoes. They use a pricier method of transportation. Clients such as Jay-Z and others 
use this helicopter to go between the city and the Hamptons. No traffic, no interference. At 180 miles an hour, this helicopter takes people wherever you want to go. It's the Rolls Royce of helicopters. When Beyonce and Jay-Z want to go out east, within the hour, Talon Air will set them up in this $15 million Sikorsky 76. And while on board, J and B have endless amenities at their disposal. This is like a flying living room. The interior alone on the helicopter is about $300,000. The most beautiful seats, it's just specked out. We have the Bose headsets, satellite music, internet broadband on board. There's nothing you would want that don't have in this helicopter. People who can will go like this because it's the ultimate. It's the ultimate way to move around. But the ultimate doesn't come cheap. Flying to the Hamptons in this tricked out heli costs a whopping six grand. Sounds like a small price to pay, right? The answer to your question is yes. <laughs> In terms of real estate, I mean, Jay-Z and Beyonce have it all. Starting with this posh $6.85 million penthouse on Hudson Street in Tribeca, one of New York City's toniest neighborhoods. Everyone who's everyone lives there. Robert De Niro, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Meryl Streep, John Stewart. You think the West Village is hip? Police. When the Carters aren't in an empire state of mind, they used to escape to the exclusive village of Indian Creek, Florida. You thought Star Island was A-list. Indian Creek, which is just a few minutes north, has its own police department, including an armed patrol boat circling the island 24 hours a day, and that is all just for about 30 homes. Bay Z's former waterfront retreat boasted seven bedrooms, eight baths, and a pool. Estimated cost, $9.3 million. I think, you know, it's kind of what do we feel like today? Do we want to be the city or do we want to have fun in Miami? It's the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Mr. and Mrs. Carter love their privacy. And when you're as rich as they are, nothing says privacy like your very own $4 million private island. Rumor has it that Jay-Z just bought his own private island in the Bahamas so he can vacation in peace with his wife and daughter. There's one huge piece of Queen Bay's life that couldn't fit in any of these over-the-top properties. So it resides in her Midtown Manhattan office. Behold the Beyonce Smithsonian. Modeled after NBC's media library, this self-appointed crazy archive is temperature controlled and took over two years to catalog. Why? Because it contains virtually all existing photos and footage of Queen Bay on the planet. Fierce. I mean, who needs to go to the Met? You could just go to the Musée de Beyoncé. <laughs> Coming up, we'll uncover how Queen Bay makes her mega millions. It shut down iTunes. Enough said. And how her king plans to take over the planet. Yeah, I'm trying to put that together. When the fabulous life of Beyonce and Jay-Z returns. The thing that's very obvious about Jay-Z and Beyonce is that they are workaholics. They love what they do and they want to do it the best. It's no secret that this hip-hop power couple works their asses off and makes tons of dough doing it. Take Jay-Z. All 12 of his solo albums went platinum. Hova's total solo record sales in the U.S.? Over 29 million copies. But Mrs. Carter gives Jigga a run for his money, because all five of her solo albums have gone platinum, selling 11 million copies. But the album Beyonce released in December 2013 may be her biggest success to date. After no promotion whatsoever, she sold more than 80,000 copies in just three hours. It shut down iTunes. Enough said. 
But selling music is just a tiny part of how these two make their mega millions. For his last tour, Jay-Z could make about a million dollars a night. Beyonce was raking in about two million dollars per show for the Mrs. Carter tour. For a two-hour show, that comes to $16,000 a minute. Cha-ching! The other thing that's great about Jay-Z and Beyonce is that they're being really smart about, I'm going to do an endorsement deal, but I want to do something big. And their endorsements aren't just big, they're insane. In 2008, Jay-Z signed an industry-changing contract with Live Nation worth $150 million. Part of that deal also was founding Rock Nation. Rock Nation started off as a record label, grew to encompass artist management. Rock Nation includes artists like Rihanna, Rita Ora, and Kylie Minogue on their roster. Rock Nation is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to cashing in on endorsements. In 2013, Jay inked a $20 million deal with Samsung. The year before, Mrs. Carter signed a $50 million deal with Pepsi. Now that's how you sell out. Jay-Z is a star in his own right, as is Beyonce, but together they make up the most successful couple in Hollywood right now. And it's no wonder, because this duo's got serious business acumen. Beyonce is using her cult of personality in every way imaginable. She launched her first perfume in 2010, and six more scents have followed, making upwards of $400 million worldwide. In 2013, Beyonce's Heat Fragrances became the best-selling celebrity fragrance line. If Beyonce's a business, Jay-Z's a full-blown corporation. Not only is Jay-Z a rapper, he has his hand in nearly every major business industry there is. He launched Rockwear in the late 90s with uh, his business partner, Damon Dash, and they built it into this company that grosses, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Rockaware was so successful, Hova and Partners sold it in 2007 for $204 million. Not bad for a side project. These days, Jay doesn't do side projects. To make Rock Nation a bona fide powerhouse, he sold his shares of the Brooklyn Nets to pave the way for something a hell of a lot bigger. In 2013, Hove launched Rock Nation Sports, a division of his company dedicated to sports representation. He was going to get into sports in a very big way and change that industry too. Helping Robinson Cano get a $240 million deal, things like that would really increase the value of a Rock Nation Sports. Rock Nation Sports already has an A-list roster. New York Yankee CC Sabathia, New York Jet Geno Smith, and New York Giant Victor Cruz are all members of Jigga's La Familia. He's very focused on kind of amassing wealth and building wealth. And both he and his wife are nailing it. Coming up, find out if Bay Z is ready for the Billionaires Club. Jay Z and Beyonce last year were the highest earning celebrity couple. And how these two megastars give back. Beyonce bought everyone there a $50 gift card, totaling over $37,000. Next on the fabulous life of Beyonce and Jay Z. Individually, Beyonce, Jay-Z, they're both totally mega. But when you put them together, it's just beyond. One and one equals a billion. Jay-Z and Beyonce last year were the highest earning celebrity couple. They pulled in $95 million. But that 95 mil is just pocket change compared to Jay-Z's total net worth. Jay-Z and Beyonce are an untouchable couple. Their net worth is estimated at over half a billion dollars. And it's only a matter of time before the king and queen of hip-hop get their membership card to the Billionaires Club. Yeah, I'm trying to put that together.
When Queen Bey and her hubby aren't busy counting their millions, they're giving it away like it's going out of style. You know, Beyonce and Jay-Z, of course, they spend a lot and they make a lot, but they also give back a lot as well. From donating designer duds to gifting gorgeous wigs to charity, Beyonce is one of the most charitable celebs on the planet. Over Christmas, Beyonce stopped into a Walmart and bought everyone there a $50 gift card, totaling over $37,000. While Beyonce played Santa Claus during holiday time 2013, Jay-Z gave back through his special holiday collection at Barney's. He collaborated with jewelers, leather makers. It was so exciting and brilliant. Jay's collaboration with Barney's reportedly raised over one million dollars and every penny went to the Sean Carter Foundation. The Sean Carter Foundation pays for underprivileged kids to receive higher education which is definitely a cause that's close to Jay's heart. We did it again Brooklyn. Hip-hop's royal couple make mad money. But let's face it, no one looks more fabulous spending it or giving it away than Beyonce and Jay-Z.